What is going on YouTube? So coming back with my Clemson preview. Now, Clemson coming off a one loss season where the only loss was obviously in the national championship. So with the amount of returning starters on offense, this is a team looking to make a big mark this year. Dabo Swinney looking to uh, follow things up with a national title runner up by winning the national title this year. So get into my three key players to start. And my first one is Deshaun Watson. This guy's the heart and soul of the team, was the Heisman, I believe was third place in the Heisman running last year. Uh, best quarterback Clemson's had in my memory. Um, and one of the best players in college football. Obviously, this dude just got, I mean, he's just got to do him. He, he, he's he got to continue to be um, all that and more that he was last year. And just, you know, step up in big ways. He almost, I won't say single-handedly because Clemson had a very good, well-rounded team. But, you know, you saw that team when, or when Deshaun Watson went down his freshman year. Um when they were without him and it was not not pretty um they did end up winning the orange bowl i think though but again not a national title squad but anyway uh get into my next key player which is mike williams um if you're not familiar with the name missed the entire season last year uh to injury uh very good wide receiver projected to be a first round pick this year um he's just going to be in a loaded just loaded wide receiving core I mentioned this before, um, it was really never a full wide receiving core last year. This is a team that has Artavis Scott, Deion Kane, Mike Williams, and Hunter Renfro. They got four quality NFL like caliber wide receivers. Mike Williams obviously being the best of uh, being the best of them all. His se coming back for his senior year, I would expect big things out of him this year. Not to mention Jordan Leggett at tight end too. So a lot of weapons out there uh, to catch the ball. So my last key player is. Cordrea Tankersley. Taking over from Mackenzie Alexander, it's big shoes to fill. And I think if anyone on this roster can do it, it's obviously him. He's still a guy that's projected to be a top or to be a uh, third round or above pick this year. I'd say first to third right now. Um, he's got the skills to do it. Mackenzie Alexander wasn't, you know, a first round, second round prospect coming into the year last year, but uh, played absolutely huge for Clemson last year and you know, Tankersley's going to have to step up and be that guy in the defensive backfield because they lost so much. Um, you consider the losses at safety with J. Ron Curse and T.J. Green and then the loss at corner with Mackenzie Alexander. And then, you know, not to mention along the along the defensive line between Kevin Dodge, Shaq Lawson, and all them, it, it, there was a lot of losses this past year. So... Um, he's gonna be have to. He's gonna have to be one of the guys that steps up along this defense, and that moves into my next or my next X factor, which is stepping up for the defense. Now, with all the losses, it's actually insane. That there's still this much talent left on this defense. Uh, it just goes to show how good a coaching and recruiting job Davis Wynn has done. And Austin Bryant, defensive end, should be a stud. Carlos Watkins should be the heart and soul of this defense. Uh, and then you look up and down the rest of the defense, you still have, like I said, Cordray and Tankersley. Jadar Johnson should be a solid option at safety. And then Ben Bulware, um, a very, very good linebacker that should lead that wide, or that linebacking core. Again, it's just a matter of all that, if that entire unit can mesh. Like I said, there's still talent left on that defense. And maybe not as much as last year, but with the amount of returning talent on that offense, they just have to be able to hold their own and allow the offense to uh, allow the offense to win them games. So my next X factor is turnovers. So this is in two parts. The first one is winning the turnover bat or winning turnover battle. Just as the season goes along, um, you got a quarterback in Deshaun Watson that can take care of the ball. Uh, Wayne Gallman has, at least in my memory, has not had too big of fumbling problems ever in his career. So. If the defense can draw turnovers, you know, it wasn't one of Clemson's best things last year as a defense. Um, you know, they, they, they got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They were able to get a lot of sacks, get a lot of tackles for loss, and didn't allow that many yards. But Mackenzie Alexander didn't have a – I don't think he had a single interception last year. Um, you know, T.J. Green and J. Ron Curse, while they had good ball skills, they're not ball-hawking safeties that got a million interceptions. Um, if Tankersley can step up and then Marcus Edmond, too, can step up, and maybe you know get five six interceptions between the two of them then again that that adds a whole new dynamic to this defense that um 
that just wasn't really wasn't there last year. So move into my trap game, and I have the South Carolina Gamecocks. It is a game that doesn't seem like it's going to be that big a deal, but again, it's the in-state rivalry. It's the biggest rivalry between Cle or that Clemson has. And to be honest, the game last year was extraordinarily close. 37-32, Clemson won in um, in Columbia. So they do get the they do get the game at home this year, but I don't see South Carolina being as j just as poor as they were last year. They were terrible last year, and with Brandon McIlwain coming at quarterback, looks like to me it looks like the real deal. Um, Sky Moore leading that defense. I think it'll be a little bit of a revitalized South Carolina team. We'll see what happens with Will Will Muschamp. I, I'm not a fan of his. If you've seen any of my other videos, you probably know that, but. Um, Again, this could be a tough game. It, it's at it's at a stretch in the season where obviously it's the last game of the season since rivalry week, but it's after a stretch in the season where you know Clemson wraps up their ACC play. Outside of the Florida State game, their ACC games aren't that hard. But again, this is a game that they cannot get tripped up by. Uh, before last year, this was a rivalry that South Carolina kind of dominated. So um, it, it is a game that you can't take lightly, and South Carolina does have the ability to win. So, move on to my biggest game, and I think it's the most obvious one. That's the game against Florida State. Florida State, a team that is a top five team, hands down this year. Um, obviously, Clemson's the favorite to walk away, or walk away with the ACC title this year. But, you know, Clemson's got to go into Florida State and beat them in Tallahassee. It's not going to be an easy feat. Um, you're talking about a Florida State team that, regardless, is probably going to get good quarterback play, most likely without a Sean McGuire. Um, they got one of the best running backs in the country. That's where they do have Clemson edged in um, running back play with Dalvin Cook. Not to take anything away from Wayne Gallman. He's a tremendous back, but Dalvin Cook's one of the best in the country. And, you know, the, I, I think Clemson's got the tools to do it, but if they even slip up a little bit, this is a game they can lose. So moving my record prediction for Clemson, and, you know, I – I really like Clemson. I really like their offense. I think they're bringing back maybe the most talented offense in the country. And then they, for how much they lost on defense, it's amazing. Like I said, how much talent they still have left on that defense. And I think this is a team that can go 14-1. and one. I think they will get tripped up once this season. Um, be it I don't know where. I don't – might be Florida State, which would be catastrophic to them because that would mean they probably don't make the college football playoff. But – I think this is a team that will, like I said, will lose one game, but I think this is also a team that will make it, or that has the ability to make it, in, not just make it two, but win the national title. Um, like I said, I could see them getting tripped up once, though. It might happen. Um, this is just an ACC that has a lot of sleepers in teams like Georgia Tech, Louisville. Um, they got some dangerous games, too, at Auburn. Like I said, South Carolina, Pitt will be good. Bring James Conner back now. Um, glad to hear he's back from cancer, but it's another thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you, if you are wondering where your team or when your team is going to be, um, previewed in my set of college football previews, go check out my, uh, complete, uh, team preview update. My schedule is listed out on that, uh, team preview it will be, um, in the link in the description below to the playlist. Go check it out and see if your team is maybe already even posted. But that's pretty much it. See ya.